everyone, Urmila here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tofu curry using um, fresh tofu and some curry powder as well. So with tofu, because it's such a versatile um, ingredient, it takes on so many different flavors and it tastes really nice in curry. I learnt or rather had this curry when we were small. My grandmother used to make this for us all the time and it was one of our favorites. So I hope you enjoy this recipe as well. Let me show you what you're going to need. So for this dish, you're going to need 5 to 6 tablespoons of cooking oil, 2 teaspoons of black mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek seeds are quite bitter, so we don't want to put too much into the dish. But it's also really good for the health, so that's why it is a part of this dish to start with. Um, and then one and a half stalks of fresh curry leaves. About 15 pieces of fresh garlic that I've just um, quartered. And then three large onions chopped. And here I've got about eight pieces of tofu that have been cut up into cubes. Um, you, it's best to use the fresh firm tofu um, and just cut it up. You don't need to press it and remove any water. Just use it as it is. And then I've got about um, three large tomatoes here and about five to six tablespoons of curry powder, half a cup of coconut milk and salt to taste. With the curry powder, I'm using um, this brand. It's called the Baba's Fish Curry Powder. I am not promoting this brand in any way. This is just the brand that I have. Um, but even if it says fish curry powder or meat curry powder, just remember that it doesn't mean that it has fish or meat in it. Um, it's just that the spices, the combination of spices that I used are best suitable for fish or meat or whatever the title is. It doesn't mean that there's actually fish or meat. So this is vegetarian. Um, and it's vegan as well as you can see it says that on the packet so yeah you can use this curry powder or any other brand that you have but that's what I'll be using today and let me show you what you're going to do next so again we are heating the oil in the wok and once it's nice and warm then we will add our mustard seeds so we need the spices to temper so that it gives out the flavor that you need in the oil and that helps the curry taste even better. So we're just waiting for the mustard, seed, mustard seeds to start spluttering and then we can add the fenugreek seeds as well into this oil. So if you can hear that, you can hear the little popping sounds then you know that your mustard seeds have started spluttering. And you can add in your fenugreek seeds and you can put in your garlic we're just going to fry the garlic until it's a nice light brown and then we'll add in the onions so as you can see the garlic is a nice golden brown and it will continue to brown as it cooks. So we're going to add in the onions now. And the curry leaves. And then just stir this through and let it cook until the onions are ni nice and soft and a nice golden brown as well. So as you can see, the onions have softened and they're slightly brown. We don't want it too caramelized, it'll make the curry too sweet. So I'm going to add in the tofu now. Mm -hmm. 
and I have quite a few, quite a bit of tofu here. So if you think that this is going to be too much for you or for your family, then you can just half the recipe or even quarter it if you need to and it will be fine and still taste nice. So just stir that through. Then add your chopped tomatoes and stir it through as well. The tomatoes, the fresh tomatoes are good because it um, adds a slight sour taste which makes it makes the curry taste even better. So I'm just adding the tomatoes in and then now you can put in the curry powder. And, you're, and you can put in the salt as well and you can stir it through and let it cook for a while um, if it looks like it's too dry then you can add a little bit of water as well so it can cook but we don't want the curry to be too watery it's supposed to be quite a dryish curry so yeah this definitely needs some water I'll get some water and then I'll show you what I'm doing next so I'm just adding about one cup or one and a half cups of water and I'm just going to stir it through and what we need um, now for it is for it to let it cook for a while and let it boil and let the raw taste from the curry powder go away so it needs a bit of time on the stove on a low flame or a medium flame so it can simmer and allow the the powders to to dis dissolve and cook properly with the tofu and the tomatoes so just let it just stir it through so it's all evenly mixed and then just leave it on a medium flame to simmer for a few minutes So the curry has been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes now and the curry powder has cooked. It is, doesn't have a raw taste anymore. You can see the texture is smooth and nice. Um, and I've tasted for salt and added a bit more because I didn't have enough earlier. But the last thing to do is add in your coconut milk. And just stir that through and let it cook for a few more minutes and then you can turn off the stove and enjoy your tofu curry with rice or chapatis hope you like the video happy cooking